Hello fellow computer enthusiasts, my name is Christian, hope you're doing well today. Welcome to another episode of ILTP WC, the channel that is dedicated to the awesome things that we can do with computers. And recently I'll ask ChatGPT if we both together, he as my co-pilot, could do a Super Mario game in Unity 3D. The AI was a little bit shy, but then he convinced me that we are able to do it together. So follow me into my home lab and let's see how ChatGPT develops a Super Mario game. The whole project started with a question, if ChatGPT wants to be my co-pilot for a jump one game like Super Mario, maybe a clone of the game that we all love. And he was very excited about it, but also a little bit shy about its own capabilities. We have covered a lot of ground, from setting up the Unity project and the tile system, to creating the player character controller and the enemy AI, as well as implementing parallax scrolling backgrounds, a score system and a countdown timer. The recommendation of components that we need to develop was also done by ChatGPT, as you see in the beginning of this video. Throughout this project we covered a lot of ground, from setting up the Unity project and the tile map system, to creating the player character controller and the enemy AI as well as implementing parallax scrolling backgrounds, a score system and a countdown system. We started by creating a new Unity 2D project and importing a tile set for the level design. We then used the tile map system of Unity to create the level layout and added a player character with a simple movement controller that can jump, run and collide with the level tiles. Next, we added some animations for the player character, such as idle, run and jump, and hooked them up to the animation controller. Then we were able to switch between them based on the player movement and input. We also created an enemy character that patrols left and right on a platform and added collision detection so that the player can kill the enemy by jumping on its head, or get killed by touching it from the sides. We then implemented a parallax scrolling system for the background layers, so that they move at a different speed and create an illusion of depth and motion. Finally, we added a score system that increases every time the player collects a coin, and a countdown timer that starts at 300 seconds and decreases as the player progresses through the level. Overall, this project has been a great learning experience for me and a lot of fun to work on. I hope you enjoyed following along and learned something new today. If you want to do a big project with ChatGPT, my recommendation would be to start with brainstorming about the components needed to achieve your goal. And then choose an interactive approach where ChatGPT only has to provide small chunks of the solution. Make reasonable vertical slices of your use case and make sure to tell ChatGPT what kind of interfaces you want to use between your components. Then you have a chance of finishing your project with support of the AI. So from my experience, bigger and complex files are really hard to handle for ChatGPT because there are some artificial limitations. So it's better to work in chunks and, and small batch sizes in order to finish a big project. I'm also working on the Doom engine with ChatGPT as well as the Game Boy emulator in Python. Both projects where the code files are a little bit bigger and it's really complicated to convince ChatGPT to write consistent code that fits together. But you will see this in an upcoming episode. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like that kind of content. If you want to try out the game yourself, the full source code for this project is available on my GitHub page. Obviously without the sprite maps, so you will just get the um, basic sprites from Unity. I leave a link in the video description down below. And there's one important aspect to mention. I only invested three hours of my time into this Super Mario clone. Um, I will continue it further, maybe in another episode, maybe offline, and then I will update the GitHub page, because there are some bugs in this version, and there are also features missing to have a full Super Mario game. But I guess I have proven that you can develop a video game with ChatGPT, if you know what you are doing, and if you can help the AI to do the right thing for you. So after finishing the three hour development marathon with ChatGPT as a co-pilot, let's see what ChatGPT has finished and how the game looks like. What you can see here is that in general the game works, so Super Mario can move to the left and to the right, and he's also able to jump. We also have um, some kind of a parallax scrolling background, but you see that there is an issue while jumping, because the um, brushes do not move along with Super Mario. Um, we also see coins and we can collect them. So overall I'm pretty happy with the um, result 
of just three hours work with ChatGPT. But to be honest, you have to be an expert in the language that you are using. So if you're using Unity, it is my recommendation to know what you are doing. So if you're already experienced with 2D games in Unity, then ChatGPT can really make a difference and make your life a lot easier. If you have no glimpse what you are doing and you don't understand the engine that you are utilizing, then it might be hard to get a game running just by copy and pasting stuff because most of the um, introductions that... So you need to have a little bit of background in the technology that you want to use. So for example, if ChatGPT describes how to use a time map in Unity 3D, then it really, really matters if you already know how to do it or not because the explanation is not that detailed. So for my experience, it's better to have a little bit experience before trying to make a big project. So if you're new to computer programming, maybe start with a little Pong game or maybe with a Tetris clone. That is something that ChatGPT can do really easy and you don't have to use a full-fledged game engine like Unity 3D or the Unreal Engine. You can also just do it in Python or whatever language you like. There are also game engines out there which are pretty easy to use. For example, Pygame in Python and ChatGPT is aware of it. And ChatGPT can create really fun games with you if you put the effort in to learn something. Thanks a lot for watching this episode. I hope you liked the content. If so, please consider liking and subscribing. It really means a lot for the channel. And if you want to see more videos, I have upcoming videos in the pipeline about ChatGPT developing a Doom engine, working with your original WAD files, as well as a gamer emulator written in Python and in Unity 3D. So, stay tuned, thanks for watching, and goodbye.